When we started studying the epithelial tissue, I told you that we can subdivide the epithelial tissue into two main categories, the surface epithelium, which lines and covers surfaces, and the glandular epithelium, which is the epithelium that makes the secreting portion of a gland. Now, what is a gland? And a gland is a structure that produces and secretes a chemical product. And there are two main types of glands in our body. We have endocrine glands and we have exocrine glands. And there are many differences between these two types of glands. One of the differences is that exocrine glands have exiting duct. So, you have exocrine with exiting duct. And when we look at the endocrine glands, we do not have ducts. In endocrine glands, what we see is that the epithelial cells forming the secreting portion of the gland are tightly packed together because this is an epithelial tissue, right? And what we see is that the product produced by the endocrine gland is secreted in the bloodstream. So it goes directly into the bloodstream. We have capillaries, which are the thinnest blood vessels we have, that are going through the organ, and the product produced by the endocrine gland is released directly into the bloodstream. And when that happens, this chemical product is distributed very fast systemically. It goes through all the systems in the body. And when this chemical product finds the target cell, so a cell that has a receptor that this chemical product is capable of binding, then this chemical product will cause an effect. Now, a chemical product that is released directly into the bloodstream is called hormone. So you can conclude that all hormones in our body are produced by endocrine glands because endocrine glands are the ones that release the product directly into the bloodstream. And what classifies a hormone as a hormone is the fact that this chemical product is going directly into the bloodstream. It does not go through ducts. Exocrine glands, which are the ones that have exiting ducts, do not produce hormones. They produce all other secretions besides hormones. So we are talking about sweat, earwax, saliva, mucus. So everything that's not a hormone will be produced by an exocrine gland. And examples of exocrine glands are sweat glands, which produce sweat, sebaceous glands, which produce oil, mucus glands that produce mucus, salivary glands that produce saliva, which is a mixture of mucus and digestive enzymes. So all glands that are not producing hormones. When we think of endocrine glands, what comes to mind is PTSP. Instead of saying PTSD, you say PTSP. And this stands for parathyroid gland, thyroid gland, suprarenal gland, and the very famous pituitary gland. Now, we have glands that have both endocrine and exocrine tissues. And these glands are top. Because imagine, they have both types of tissues. And the top glands are the testes, ovaries, and pancreas. So, testes in males, ovaries in females, and the pancreas are mixed glands. They contain both endocrine and exocrine tissues. And in case you're wondering what are the endocrine and exocrine secretions of these top organs, here they are. Testes, exocrine secretion is the sperm. And an example of endocrine secretion is the hormone testosterone. Ovaries, exocrine secretion is the egg. And an example of endocrine secretion is the hormone estrogen. Pancreas exocrine secretion is the pancreatic juice, which is composed of fluid and digestive enzymes. And examples of the endocrine secretion of the pancreas are the hormones insulin and glucagon.